So let's get this in there. Perfect. See where it comes together? Right there. Perfecto. So I think I'm good on those two bolts in there. I don't think it's going to need anything more than that. So let's give it one last look here for the day. Not bad. I'm probably complaining more than I should. Although, like I said, I got spots that didn't stick great. So let it dry up do a little touch it's just can't keep screwing with it you know when it's wet let it dry see what happens i know all right baby she look good Corey just came over and said man it looked just right on this boat so after i got it in the water i noticed where the blue bottom stops that seems to be the water line so yeah when i put these boats in you know, I do a float, float on, float in, the water float off kind of situation. They don't get scruffed down the, the, uh, what you call it, bunks. I go deep enough and then she just floats off and I tie this big line to the trailer. And drive up. Bing, bang, boom, baby. Looks bone dry in there. Give it a little primer. Boy, this thing's far away. Uh-oh, don't tell me this thing ain't working. Or is it? Don't sound like it, son of a perfect driver. I pumped the primer bulb at home. I'll do it again. Yeah, that feels good. Maybe I flooded it. Damn, I shouldn't have pumped that thing like that. Yeah, see. Smell gas. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything in the water. Maybe I'm not flooded. There's no gas. Now it feels like it's pumped up hard as a rock. Yeah, look, the bowl is empty. I just pulled this, pulled this hose off and there's no fuel coming out. Yeah, man, it's the fuel pump is clogged or something. It's, it's coming out right here at this hose. See the crap in the water? It's not getting past here to go to the car, fill the bowl. Oh, wait a minute, look, watch. I'm moving the hose and I see something squirting. It is getting to the pump, I mean to the car. It's under pressure. So the carb is... Oh man. Well, I don't have any choice. Go get the van. If the wind was blowing the other way, I would take it over to the dock with the paddle. But it wind's just going to throw me all over the place. Anyway, it's just clogged. The, the needle must be stuck. No, I just pulled this hose off again. There's no, no fuel in that car. All right, baby. 
Let's try this, listen. I can hear the float. Barely moving. Barely moving. This is so strange to me, for me. I can't ever remember something like this happening. Now I can remember opening up an old car and everything was all <coughs> froze up because it had been sitting for a hundred years. But never run it out, put it away for a couple months and all froze up. Weird. Here we go. See the needle stuck down there? Stuck, baby. Ah, see, I just pulled it out. Hold on, let me look it up, up here in the light real good. It still looks good, the cone on the end. It's not all misshapen. You know, usually they get kind of funny. From what I can see, it's getting a little dark out here. That's fine. What the hell made it stick? Look at the, everything looks clean. So a little spray. Should be good to go. Ooh, yellow pollen water. Nice pick. Anyway, let me get that seat. Try to figure out where I'm going to want to sit. Look. And then, yeah, this is super comfy. Super comfy. Much better than sitting on this. Or that stupid cushion and getting thrown all over the place. Oh, I fished my ass off right here. Bing, boom, bing, boom. All right, baby. Today is the day. See you in the water. The outboard guys have been good to me. It was pure glass 60 seconds ago. I just pulled away from the ramp. some weight in the front of this thing. I might have to adjust my trim pin. Man, it's way up there. I noticed too with the battery over here without me in it. it was Lean in that way a little bit. Well, I was just looking at the dock and I said, man, somebody's in my spot. It's me. <laughs> they get over here and adjust this pin. So I was on the middle hole. There's five holes. I put it on one up and that was way too much. The front end was still coming up too high. So I popped it two back down and it's still climbing so high it's stupid. I got too much weight back here. Boy, I tell you what too, now that the boat's in the water, it don't look as big as it did <laughs> sitting in the driveway. Ay! Let me put it all the way down, I guess, and see what happens. Because this ain't working. I mean, I feel like, you know, the water's up to here, you know. It's going to come flooding in if I hit it hard. Either put more weight in the boat or move this freaking battery up front. Move this freaking tank somewhere. Uh, it's always something, man. I was going to put those mats I got in here, but they're so heavy, I figured I'd run light first. Well, I don't think I've ever run a boat motor with the pin all the way down before. I might have to go get some weight. 
to find somebody to go for a ride. What a beautiful day. I don't want to be messing around with this kind of crap. Must look really stupid from the shore. <laughs> I mean, it's just standing up. Thank God I got a seat to hold me in. Oh man, it's always something. Never would have guessed this was gonna happen. Oh man, I gotta go get the van. Then I can bring the mats down and do something. This isn't going to work. So Corey gave me a ride over to the ramp. Thank goodness, much quicker. Anyway, I got the mats. They're from a gym, you know, gym mats type thing. Thick, heavy as hell. This is like having another whole person in the boat. There's one underneath it. This one's four feet. The other one's probably like three feet. So there's the fat one. <laughs> there's the small one. Probably have enough after I cut that, fill that in a little bit. We'll see what happens. You know, I got to come up with something. Man, it's just so beautiful. Number two. That's what I had to do on Tracy's boat. God bless America, man. Move that big mat all the way up front just to get some weight. Balance this thing out. This is terrible. I put it back on number three just for the hell of it. Didn't go way up with all that weight. He put it back on two.
Well, I won't be doing any GPS runs. Should I get trim tabs, make some, uh, you know, or just keep, you know, like I said, move the battery up there, move the tank up there. What a pain in the ass. The weight helped, not, not enough. So I put it down to the bottom, right next to the bottom hole again. And I can get up, do a little bit of a cruise, not way up in the air, and right around, trying to see the camera. I can't see what it says. Oh no, it was way over that. Probably, uh, it's probably around 18 miles an hour and it starts porpoising. Let's try it again. She starts porpoising. I guess that anchor I threw in helped a little bit. Anyway, my uh, transom, as you can see, holding up fantastic. No flex whatsoever. Let me see if I can just get her up. Cruise around without, you know, maybe like 15 miles an hour. sold out board. So there we go boys and girls. Uh, rivet these puppies on. Finish cleaning up a couple of those spots there. And we'll get them on the boat tomorrow. See what happens. Should be good. Oh yeah baby. <laughs>